And then this next one is definitely the most out there name on this list and I feel like probably 99% of you won't like this name. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been highly requested and I'm really excited to be filming it. And that is baby boy names that I love but didn't use. So for those of you who don't know, my husband and I had our first baby boy a little over two months ago and we decided not to put his name online. And so I thought that this would be a fun video to film because it'll still give you guys kind of the gist of like what kind of names we liked and yeah, you'll get an idea of what our taste in baby names are and I have a list of 20 baby boy names that we loved but didn't use. The first name is one of my favorite baby boy names that I have just loved my whole life but unfortunately Josh didn't like it which just breaks my heart and I don't even understand how someone could not like this name and that is the name Nicholas. I absolutely love the name Nicholas. I think it's just so royal, it just flows off the tongue, Nicholas, like I just, I just think it's the perfect name, I just love the name, but Josh said that growing up he always heard boys with the name Nicholas get made fun of because Nicholas rhymes with, you can kind of guess, it's very immature and kids are just really mean, but that kind of ruined the name for Josh and uh, I just hate that because I think it is. A stunning name. The second name is another name that I love but Joshua doesn't and that's the name Julian. It means love's child which I just think is the most beautiful meaning and I like it for the same reason that I like Nicholas. I think it sounds royal and it just flows off the tongue. Like imagine two twin boys called Nicholas and Julian. Julian and Nicholas. No, Nicholas and Julian. Like I just love that that is my vibe my personal vibe for names but josh doesn't a hundred percent share that vibe the next one is a name that we both really liked and that's the name ajani it's a bit more unique than nicholas and julian but ajani is an african name and it means african prince and we really loved that because i was born in south africa and i'm afrikaans and then joshua is african-american so we just thought it was cool to give our son an african name and then a nickname for Ajani could be AJ, which is like Alicia, Josh. So we thought that that was really cool, but then we decided not to go with it because it just felt maybe a little bit too out there and it wasn't a hundred percent the feel that we wanted to go for for our son's name. The next name is another one that we both really liked, which is the name Gabriel. But we decided not to go with it because we just know quite a few Gabriels and so we just wanted our son's name to be a little bit more unique like not to know many people with his name so we decided not to go with Gabriel even though we think it is so beautiful and it's a biblical name without being super overused the next name is one that we both liked but Josh probably liked it a bit more than I liked it and that is the name Arlen and the reason we could never use the name Arlen is because in my accent I say Arlen because in New Zealand accent you don't really pronounce the R's you just say R so we would be pronouncing our son's name totally differently and when we introduced him to people and I was like this is Arlen I feel like Canadians because I live in Canada if you didn't know I feel like Canadians would be like Arlen and I'd be like Arlen and they'd be like Arlen and then I'd have to put on a fake accent and be like Arlen and they'd be like oh Arlen so it just would never have worked. So the next two names I'm going to say together because they're both names that Josh likes but I don't particularly love and that is the names Obadiah and Jedediah. I don't really like those names um they're a bit too out there for me like they're biblical but it's not really my vibe i guess you could like nicknames could be like obi and like jed but it's just yeah it's it's not really my personal taste but josh liked them 
um, and they both have really beautiful meanings. I can't remember the meanings off the top of my head, but I'll put them on the screen. This is the meaning for Obadiah, and this is the meaning for Jedediah. <laughs> All right, this one is a little bit juicy, but Joshua and I both love the name Andre, but we could never use the name Andre because someone in my family, very close family, was in a very long-term relationship with a person called Andre and it didn't end great and it would just be very awkward for this person <laughs> if we named our son Andre. But we love the name Andre and shout out to all of the Andres. The next name that Joshua and I both love is the name Levi. I just think Levi is such a beautiful sounding name. We know a Levi though, one of my closest friend's husbands is called Levi and it would just be a little bit awkward giving our son the same name as him. So we couldn't go with Levi, but again, we love the name Levi. The next name I really used to love, I don't love it as much anymore. I still like it, but I don't love it enough to call my son it. But I used to really like it, and that's the name Zion. It was a bit too out there for Josh, but I thought that it just sounded really cool. I love Z names. I just think that there's something strong about a name with a Z in it. And so I just really liked Zion. And then this next one is definitely the most out there name on this list and I feel like probably 99% of you won't like this name but maybe there'll be 1% of you that do and it's one that I really used to like but Josh just could never get on the train and that is the name Nazareth. I know it's a place, that's the whole point. It's the place where Jesus lived. And so I just thought that it was kind of cool. It's like Jesus's dwelling place. So I thought that the meaning would be cool. And then I just thought that Naz would be like a really cute name to go by. So like the name on his birth certificate is Nazareth, but then we just kind of call him Naz. Like, hey Naz. Like just kind of saw it like, oh, that outgoing fun guy at school who everyone's just like, what's up Naz? And like, yeah, I just like had a picture in my head for it. But now looking back, I'm like, yeah, Nazareth is a little bit out there. I don't think I would ever have been able to fully commit to it. The next name is the name Jasper. And I love that Jasper, you don't immediately think of it as being a biblical name. But in Revelation, it talks about, I think it's in Revelation, it talks about like the gates of heaven being made of Jasper. All right, I'm sorry guys, I totally misquoted what Jasper represents in Revelation. So in Revelation, it actually is talking about the New Jerusalem and it says that it has the radiance, like a most rare jewel, like Jasper, clear as crystal. And I just think that that is so cool that there's a biblical side to the name Jasper and I just think that it sounds really cool. And yeah, I just, I just think that Jasper is a cool name. <laughs> That's pretty much all that there is to it. The next name is Xavier or Xavier. I really like this name. However, someone that I'm really close to has dibs this name as their boy name and I totally respect that. And so I would not go with that name, but I really like it. I just think that Xavier or Xavier, I think I like Xavier more. I just think it sounds really strong and you can spell it with an X or you can spell it with a Z and I just think both of those just look very strong. I guess I'm attracted to strong names for guys. The next name is a name that Josh came up with and it's one of those names that is a surname but can also work as a first name and that is the name Benson and then as a nickname we'd call him like Benny or something like that but Benson is yeah I think it's a pretty nice name I don't absolutely love it like I wouldn't name my son it but I think it's really nice it does remind me of this mountain in Nanaimo that we climbed and we like hiked this mountain in like 34 degree weather and we came totally unprepared. We brought tiny little water bottles and no snacks and 
it was just a brutal, brutal hike. Um, so I don't really love what I associate with the name Vincent, <laughs> but I think it sounds cool and I do like names that are surnames but can work as first names. I also think that Benson would be, if we used it, it would be like honoring my brother because my brother's name is Ruben. And so it would be like the Ben from Ruben, Benson. I just think that that would be really cool. The next name is Noah. I really like the name Noah. Basically, ever since I watched The Notebook, I liked the name Noah. Um, but we just know too many Noahs, so we would never use it. Josh has a really close friend whose son's name is Noah, and we just love his name, but we could never use it. The next name is actually Adele's son's name, and that is the name Angelo. I love the name Angelo. I, I don't know if you guys can kind of see, like, the kinds of names that I particularly like. I feel like Nicholas, Julian, Angelo, I feel like they all have the same kind of vibe to them. I feel like they just sound very beautiful, roll off the tongue. They sound strong to me at least. I really like those kinds of names, but Joshua isn't very attracted <laughs> to those kinds of names, unfortunately. The next name is the name Damien. I think Damien is a really strong name and I I feel like I'm saying that about every name. I feel like my reasoning for liking every single name is because I think it sounds strong. <laughs> but I do, I like the name Damien. I just picture a strong man who's like, hey, I'm Damien. <laughs> I don't know. I just really like it. Um, I like the way it looks when it's written down. I like that it has lots of vowels in it. I just, I just like it. I don't know. And Joshua, again, does not like it. I feel like that's kind of a trend is that he doesn't really like a lot of the names that I like. But that's okay because at least we agreed on our favorite name, which is my son's name. <laughs> The next name is the name Elliot, which I think is such a gorgeous name for a boy. It just is very gentle, Elliot, and soft and kind, and I just really like the name Elliot. Again, it's one that Josh didn't love. He likes it, but he didn't like love it, love it, so we just couldn't use it for our son. The next name is a name from one of my husband's favorite book series which is the Red Rising series and that is the name Cassius. We both really like the name Cassius however it's just a little bit too out there for us and I feel like the nickname Cass sounds a bit girly like it just makes me think of like Cassandra so we wouldn't go for Cassius but I do think it's a very cool name. The final name is a name that Josh really liked and that is the name Rio. There was a guy who he grew up with and the guy was a little bit older than him and the guy was half black and Josh would get bullied all the time by racist kids when he was little which is just so sad. But then this guy Rio came up to Josh and he was like the next time someone picks on you you let me know and I'm gonna beat them up. <laughs> And so Josh just like loved him and looked up to him and was like, I want to name my kid Rio. So that was the list of 20 baby boy names that we loved but didn't use. I'm very curious to know what your favorite name was off of that list. And if you have a son, what's his name? I just love names. I would love to hear. And maybe your comment will give us an idea for our next baby's name. But thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.